name is Matt Lofthouse. I'm part of the Bromley Common Congregation. And uh, if I was to ask you the question this morning, what is your favourite colour? What is your favourite food? What is your favourite film? I'm sure you've got to answer those questions, right? My favourite colour is red. Uh, my favourite food is spaghetti carbonara. And my favourite film is The Shawshank Redemption. Why do we have these favourite things? Uh, because something about those things that draw us to them, yeah? And then they become our favourites. I have three children, and if you'd ask me again the question, what, who is my favourite child? I would say all of them. All of them I love equally, um, and they're all precious to me. In this passage, we see in, in Genesis 37 the dangers of having favourites. And as it all goes wrong, begin the story. The other son's mother is Leah, and Jacob really loved Rachel more than Leah, which is really sad. But we're reading Galatians. A man reaps what he sows. And we see this being played out in Jacob's life over and over again in different scenarios. We see that you know, Joseph is at home with his dad while his brothers are off looking after the sheep. Then Jacob then sends his, you know, Joseph can see the brothers are okay. And you think, what's he doing? Jacob clearly favoured Joseph and gave him special treatment. But Joseph should have been with the rest of the brothers, you know, out with the sheep. The brothers knew that Jacob loved Joseph more, which is really sad. And we see where the first father fails is never have favourites. As I said to you already, I can honestly say that I don't have a favourite daughter. I love them equally. They're all precious to me. They're all special to me. And that will never change. But if we look a bit closer into Jacob, we see potentially the reason why he had a favourite. He had had um, Joseph in his old age with, with his beloved Rachel, who then died giving birth to his younger brother, Benjamin. But when we see the beginning of this of, of, of chapter 37, his brothers couldn't speak a kind word about him. Ouch. You see, you've got sibling rivalry happening even just then. It must have been difficult, of course, for Jacob to spend time with all his children and to show his love in action for each of them. But there's no excuse for favouritism. It's always going to cause trouble in a family. It's going to lead to some extent to family breakdown. You know, Jacob had seen the consequences of this when he was younger. His father favoured Esau and his mother favoured him. In this case, you know, where J Joseph is now, the brothers were going to actually kill him, take that matter into their hands. And you know, this passage had me thinking, what is God like? Does God have favourites? God has favourites. Not a certain individual's but everyone who believes and trusts in him. Ephesians 5 1 says, Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children. The word dearly means in Greek, agabetos, which means beloved, esteemed, worthy of love, God's favourite. Our amazing God and creator has made each one of us exactly the way we're supposed to be. He calls us esteemed, beloved, worthy of his love. I'm God's favourite, you're God's favourite, we're all God's favourite. The sad thing is that many of us don't believe it. We've been given over to the, the enemy's schemes of focusing on our faults and our bad choices that we've made in the past. And as a result, we can't seem to accept God's incredible love for us. But that's never been God's plan for us. Instead, God wants us to understand what it means to be his child. We're heirs, it says in Romans 8, 17. Sons and daughters in 2 Corinthians 6, 18. Chosen in Colossians 3, 12. Doesn't matter what we've been told or the wrong message that's been received about your identity. The truth is you are God's favourite. Now we've all had different experiences of dads, good and bad. Some don't, even, don't have a dad around. Some don't even have a reference point for a dad. But this morning... Let us all know that we have a heavenly, a perfect heavenly father who is saying to all of us, you are my favourite. When we start seeing that, start believing that, and start living like that, seeing our true identity in Christ as, as a favourite child of God, wow, that's a game changer. You know, this is made possible because our loving heavenly father made a way for us. Through Jesus dying on the cross for us, displaying his love for us, defeating sin, defeating death and rising again for us. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God. Wow. 
In 1 John 3, 1 says, See what great love the Father has lavished upon us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. So don't be like Jacob and have favourites. But remember, you are God's favourite this morning. Amen.